Hey Goalie Squad, welcome back to 70 Pounds of Life. Uh, my name is Marissa Dawn, and if you're new to the Goalie Squad, welcome. Today we are going to be doing a five minute Friday video. I feel like I need to come up with like a cool hand signal so when I say it, it's like cool. Um, Speaking of five minute Friday videos, uh, the goal of this video is for me to talk about a subject for five minutes without any edits or cutting or restarting the video so it's a one shot and that's what I got. Um, I wrote down some notes to keep me on track. Um, how I decide what we are going to talk about each Friday is I ask you guys to go ahead and these glasses, the glare is just not that great. Uh, I ask you guys to comment and let me know what you guys want me to talk about the following week and I choose one of those comments from last week and then we talk about it this week. So last week somebody commented saying that they wanted me to, oh I gotta start the timer, look at me. Here we go, where is it? Five minutes, yes, do it. Okay, um, so they commented saying that they wanted me to talk about non-scale victories, AKA NSVs, and I was like, I love non-scale victories, so yes, I would love to talk about that topic. Um, I've also seen people mentioning that they've noticed other people having certain non-scale victories and they haven't experienced that themselves and it kind of makes them a little like disappointed or discouraged. So I wanna start off the video by saying that your body and your weight loss journey and how you change over time is not going to be like everybody else's. Everyone is different and please just like don't compare yourself to anybody else because everyone's different and our bodies react differently. So there, I said that. Let me pick up my notes. Okay, so um, one of the very first non-scale victories that I personally ever noticed on myself is when I drive, I like to put my hand on my seatbelt and like drive like this, and I noticed that the amount of fat that was right there was much less than what it was before, and this was probably like a month into my weight loss journey, and so that was really, really exciting, and I remember just being super excited. Um, another non-scale victory that stands out to me is this bone right here. I remember the first time that I started to be able to see that bone. It was kind of shocking because I had never seen a bone, like one of my own bones before. I mean, you know, like elbows, but well, my elbows are much more pointier now, so watch out. Like I got some pointy elbows. Um, but yeah, so it was cool to see something that I had never seen on myself before. Um, other types of non-scale victories can be like emotional or like mental non-scale victories. So if your mood is better, if your anxiety is a lot better, if your stress is better, um, if your self-confidence is better and your overall outlook is just brighter, you have more uh, energy, that is all considered non-scale victories. So anything that Anything that can't be portrayed on the scale is a non-scale victory. Because the scale can be a big old jerk sometimes. Like, let's be real. I also have these. So I collected these throughout my weight loss journey and the yellow one is the longest one. So every time I would lose some inches or I would measure myself, I would cut a ribbon that was in the amount of the inches that I had lost. And right now, I actually need to get myself a new one because I've lost inches in the past month, about four inches. This is the longest one that I have right now. And this is like, it was so fun because this is like a huge representation of a non-scale victory and I could put it up like wherever and it'd just be a reminder that, you know, the hard work and the effort is worth it. Um, so other types of non-scale victories, before I get too off topic, um, this is another one. So whenever I go to amusement parks now, I'm not really worried about not fitting. I never had that happen to me before, but I knew that it was eventually going to happen. And I'm like, oh, what if this is the day? This is the day the roller coaster doesn't fit anymore. But now I don't even have to think like that. Common non-scale victories would be things like your clothes are fitting looser so you're having to get looser clothes which is great but also not that great because new clothes are expensive um, another thing could be when you look in the mirror you just notice that you look smaller people are commenting that you look smaller you may look in the mirror and notice that you're getting like 
some muscle definition. Uh, there's a lot of different, like very common non-scale victories that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, but I'm sure you guys have heard them all before. Mm. Here's another one. So you're able to go up the stairs or walk from your car to the grocery store, uh, from the parking lot to the grocery store without being out of breath. So just feeling stronger, being able to do things that you weren't able to do before. I remember when I could touch my toes for the first time. That was cool. Oh, another thing, you know when you like lay on your back and you fling your legs backwards and you like sit on your shoulders basically? I had never really been able to do that because my stomach had always gotten in the way. Um, so that was a non-scale victory. Like there's just very weird non-scale victories. If you guys have any non-scale victories that you think might be a little weird, leave them down in the comments because I would love to read those, especially just to know what other people noticed on their weight loss journeys as well. It's always just kind of cool. Also comment, let me know what you guys want to talk about next week.